We're on the pretzel ride. I'll explain shortly. Buenos dias and happy, happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, right? Tuesday, yes, tomorrow we leave. So the team and I just finished having lunch, started my vlogging day just a little bit late today. But uh, anyways, we are done with lunch and we're headed to plan and work together on uh, some final touches for our presentation that we're gonna give in about an hour and a half. All right guys, we're heading into our session to present and there's actually people actually gonna come to our session. This is awesome, look at this. So let's head on in. T minus three minutes, maybe two minutes. Two minutes and we'll be ready to go. Check out this nice crowd. Welcome to Big Things Come in Google Packages, the slides edition. My name is Pablo Diaz. I am the Education Innovation Specialist in the Fullerton School District. There are three components to Google Packages. There is the structure. Once one, dive into the Google Package and break them down for you. What we want to do is actually do some hands-on and dive in that way so you guys get a chance to either build your own or build one with us. Just finished. Chonger, good job. It went okay. Maybe I'll talk about it later. I think we did a pretty good job. So we'll, we'll check back in later. We are in the expo of the conference. Let's go check out the expo a little bit. So that right there was the Tower of the Americas, one of the tallest freestanding towers in the United States till it got taken over in like the 1990s by the Stratosphere Tower and Hotel in Las Vegas. For the longest time, the Tower of the Americas was the tallest in the United States. That's pretty cool. They did not know that. Hey guys, so a little bit more on the presentation today. So that presentation, uh, it, 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 I've presented dozens, if dozens, not quite hundreds of times, but it's getting up there. And today, and I presented with my team, with that very team, and we've always knocked it out of the park. And today I just felt a little bit, little bit under, a little bit under, a little bit under delivered, I guess. And, and I always self-reflect and go back. I know that I can do better and I know we will do better. Um, and there's a lot of variety of reasons and I could give excuses, but no excuses. I think you just need to self-reflect, figure out the things that didn't go right, how you can improve it. And we've already done some of those things. So super pumped, but I just wanted to be honest with you and let you know that, man, I did, just didn't deliver the way I wanted to because um, I love my presentations to be interactive, fun, joke filled, uh, just having a good time because I think ultimately you're there to do two things. You're there to entertain and engage. I guess that's two things, but let's just make sure that that's one word. Interdingay, entertain gauge, entertain gauge, and provide the people that came with a quality product that they can take home and utilize and start remixing and doing whatever they want to it. Now we're, I'm back at the hotel last night here in San Antonio. I really am looking forward to getting home. I, I miss my family, so I'm ready to go home, but there's some good stuff here coming up a little later, so um, we still have a couple festivities uh, to finish to finish off here in San Antonio. Side note, I haven't felt as bad about not running. We have put so many steps on out here, and in the humidity, it's like I'm a ball of sweat. Man, it's been hot and humid, and just walking around the whole convention and then in and around the city, has been enough. It's draining by the time you get back at, at night. Oh, so after dinner, so after dinner tonight, we're gonna go on this thing called a pretzel ride. More information forthcoming. All right. Mm. We 
finally made it onto the bikes. It took forever to try to get these little city bikes. Oh, I don't know, it wasn't taking credit cards. Did it multiple times, finally got it. We're good to go. We're on the pretzel ride. I'll explain shortly. Here's the deal with the pretzel ride. We're here in front of the Alamo, which is right over there. And essentially, three years ago in Philadelphia, we left the hotel area to walk down to um, the Rocky Steps. Philadelphia Museum of Art is actually where they film Rocky and the running steps. So we went over there, again, this is three years ago in Philly. We were just chilling on the stairs, we we're taking pictures, it was a beautiful night and it just rained. So people were coming and going and doing the Rocky Steps, running up and down. These guys showed up on bikes and we're saying, hey, what's going on? And it was close to midnight by then. And we're asking, so what's going on? What are you guys doing? Are you guys here for the pretzel ride? And we're like, no, tell us more about the pretzel ride. And so essentially, uh, through social media, it was blasted out, hey, pretzel ride tonight in Philly. These guys came and went. Uh, we didn't follow them, but we were like, are they really going to get pretzels? Are they really going to have pretzels and beer or what have you? So that was the funny thing about it. So ever since that day, we got some bikes. We went our own on our own pretzel ride. But oddly enough, we've actually never had a pretzel on these rides, but this is our third year. We've done it in Philly, Denver, and now San Antonio. And we're on a pretzel ride. And you can see there's some guys meeting up right now. George, there's Jason. We're, uh, we're pretzel riding, yo. And we're gonna go ride for a couple of hours around the city and it's a good time and we're just using the city bike. So that's my story and I'm sticking with it. Let's go ride. Pretzel ride is coming to an end. We're gonna go drop our bikes off. We're gonna call it a night. It's been a good night. Thanks for hanging out with me once again. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like this video if you really enjoyed it. Even if you liked it a little bit, give me some love. I would appreciate it. And remember, always sprinkle a little bit of fun in your life. And when you're having that fun, remember to always keep it fun enough. We're gonna do this again tomorrow. Woo! Joke of the day. America's Tower right here. What did the buffalo say to his son when he went off to college? Bye, son. <laughs>